Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ako si Buwan Lila Sayahon at ako ay isang grade 10 creative writing student from the Philippine High School for the Arts, a specialized public high school that offers arts-focused education in Mount Makiling, Las Banyas, Laguna. I am a part of Kuwit, the collective of PHSA students who major in creative writing, and our curriculum includes fiction, poetry, writing for theater and film, graphic literature, essay, and cultural studies. These final projects that we worked on for two semesters, one of which is what I am about to present to you now, marks the end of four years in junior high. Growing up in a situation where my parents and I moved to different places very often, I spent my early years coming to terms with the fact that the idea of home was something impermanent. It was barely physical, it was something that I had to carry with me constantly, and it was always at the risk of being forgotten. And so when I attempt to recall home, it becomes a collage of tangible things, a quilt of familiar sensations and emotions, And it is always something that I must consciously fracture and conjoin over and over again to make sense out of it. And as all things bleed into each other, my idea of home is very closely tied to my idea of my own self. And in an attempt at defining my own identity, this project comes into fruition. While conceptualizing, I was very interested in pursuing something relating to the concept of the self and the other, as well as narratives involving labyrinths or limbos and memory. And from the beginning, I knew I definitely wanted to try film or something similar to it, and this capstone project was the perfect chance to dabble a bit in it. This became an experimental project that utilizes text, image, and videos, and so early on I had decided that Tumblr would be the most conducive platform to use. The entire process of making this project required me to constantly recall my life, or lives, from before, and I definitely depended on that to ground my story properly but the project also required me to fracture my memories in a way, to bank on the way memory is highly unreliable and to distort the things that actually happened and turn them into their own story separate from mine. Interestingly enough, the more unfamiliar my interpretations of my own memory became, the more honest and vulnerable they became compared to how it would be if I tried to remain factually consistent to reality. Paghawi ng pagbuo ng paghawi is not as much of a story as it is a process. It is a collection and a recollection of life that fractures and conjoins. It is an exploration of the concepts of identity and memory, and an attempt to constantly map out the landscape that this world of its own has created. I will now be presenting to you a recorded version of the entire website. The website itself is open for viewing at any time from here on, but I will be showing this one as well for your convenience, and in case there are any inconsistencies in viewing the website through different gadgets, this version is the most ideal one. While watching the recording, Please feel free to pause at any time to read the parts with text. Thank you very much, at magandang gabi ulit. Pag-ibig tulad ng batis, tulad ng batis. Pag-ibig tulad ng batis, tiwa ko. Paya pa tulad ng dagat, tulad ng dagat. Paya pa tulad ng dagat, tiwa ko. Malaya tulad ng ibon, tulad ng ibon. Malaya tulad ng ibon, tiwa ko.
Pag-ibig tulad ng batis, tulad ng batis. Pag-ibig tulad ng batis, tiwa ko. Ang una kong nakita sa aking paggising ay liwanag. Lumiliyab at tumutubo na parang sakit. Lumilibot at lumilibot, init na nanunuot sa balat. Lumingon-lingon ako para maghanap ng salamin, ngunit wala rito. Wala rito kaya mararapat lang na mayroon sa ibang lugar. Hindi dito. Hahanapin ko.
Sige, bike lang. Rivers are interesting bodies of water. We can start from the way they begin. Water moves down from a place of high elevation, like hills and mountains, flowing all the way down. It might seep into the ground, or find its way across the terrain to join bigger. Rivers will trickle down and pull into a growing lake. A lot of it inevitably ends up in the ocean, of course. And the water rises. Rises back to further heights and then flows back down. Again. And again. And again. I think what fascinates me most about rivers is their intimate relationship with terrain. Their very existence is evidence of some sort of land. It is what shapes them, and it is what they shape in return. With rivers, land and water break and mold, in a way that we can witness, something that seas and oceans withhold from us. With rivers the truth is sometimes laid bare.
How do you even measure a river? There is something quite strange about that idea. If rivers are formed by numerous other tributaries, there is no way to define where it truly begins. Not to say that efforts in measurement are stupid. But how would I go about it? I would begin from the ocean. Look for the mouth of a river. Whatever direction I will follow when the river branches off will be arbitrary. I'm not looking for a particular source. I only hope to reach one at some point. Oh. Hindi ata maaaring masukat ang kalsadang ito. Hindi rin ata kumikilos ang araw. Ilang oras na akong naglalakad sa init na nararapat lang sa tanghaling tapat. Naririnig mo ba ang mga kuliglig? Kanina pa nila ako sinusundan. May naaalala akong kanta, ngunit hindi ko masimulan. Sa totoo lang, pakiramdam ko ay may tao sa aking likuran. Undeniably, I have a strong desire to be found. In a way that is out of my control. Beyond logic.
and without the opportunity to feel regret. For someone to find my body under all this earth. To see for themselves the way it rots. And I will live again. Because I am remembered.